Hey, it's Steve from the Cryptozoology Museum again. Uh, you know, out to another area where we have a bunch of broken trees. Let me show you some of these. And all this area back up in here. Even back there. Now this is a different location that we had about a month ago. We found them all. It's on the same river here. It's Long Fishing Creek. So it's uh, kind of adjacent to it. We've got a lot of reports of tree knocks in the area. Today you can hear there's birds up behind me. We've got some people hiking through the park, so I sincerely doubt we're going to find anything very good here. But uh, I just wanted to do a follow-up before I go back and open the museum. You can see there's more here. And I'll show you how close we are to Fishing Creek here, which is the consistent. Everything seems to be along the river. But don't let me forget to remind you guys to please uh, subscribe, share, and click the little bell button wherever the heck it is. Make sure you get notifications. We try to get out as often as we can, follow up on any reports we've gotten in. Uh, we have a few folks that from the come down to the museum that help us out and come out and do some research. Unfortunately, uh, Clint's down and out. He's had a, had a little bit of a medical issue. He's in the hospital, so we're going to be checking on him hopefully tomorrow. Uh, hopefully we'll get them out here soon because having folks like that is invaluable to the museum. But uh, that being said, it's just, uh, it's just crazy. We keep on finding spots like this. Now, when I came in, I did hear a sound like, I guess you could consider it a knock. But with this wind, it could be a tree break. So I don't want to jump to any conclusions or anything like that. But just look at this. I mean, once again, all these trees in different directions. And along with this, there's lots of tree and vegetation here, leaf litter. So, you know, I'm, I can't jump to conclusions. Wind shear, microburst, tornadoes, anything like that. I mean, everything else had to be disturbed. So... I'm going to just do a continue hiking through. I just want to get a quick video up for today. Uh, once again, you can see how close we are to the river here. At least it's not quite as muddy today. So I won't be slipping and breaking my ass going up and down these inclines. As I say that, I'll probably do it. Still a little bit wet underneath. So I'm just going to hike with you guys back to the other area where the broken trees are too. So you can see it's like amongst this now, in between there's nothing. So it makes it very suspicious. And every time we come across these sort of odd breaks, you go right across the trail and it's fine. Nothing is touched. It's like something's marking areas off. Uh, look back here. I mean, you don't get all the broken trees and stuff. Now we do have some washout over here when the water came up. That was a few weeks ago. This area does flood, but that wouldn't explain for the snap trees in all different directions. And the original trees we found over here were well before the flood came through. But you're gonna see, I mean, I'm not that far from the uh, first location.
And that's the location right up over there just across the bridge. You can see some of these walks here are steep. It's not exactly the easiest hiking through here. A lot of state parks you go to have very basic trails. This is still pretty rough. A lot of routes. You got to watch yourself coming through. Just be aware. That's why you notice us tripping every so often. We're busy messing with the cameras. So you can see this is not super far from the other one, but once again, you go across the trail, everything's fine. This area, this is the area where we have roughly 75 trees snapped. Going back, and as soon as you get out of this area, it's fine. Since I'm on this bridge, let's try doing a tree knock and see if we get a response. hearing nothing. Do hear a little bit of voices back off in that direction, people on the trails. Yeah, today's got a lot of fair amount of activity in the park, and we have uh, a little bit of wind, and you can hear the birds are out today. It's like in this area, usually we have activity. You come in here, it's dead quiet. No birds, no bugs. So, once again, it's important for us to constantly come out here and follow up on every time we get a sighting or someone hears or sees something. Uh, the conditions are still perfect to come look for prints. Even though it's starting to dry up a little bit, we still had enough rain. And you can see in this area here, when this flooded out, it removed some of the leaf litter. So it makes it easy to come around and look for stuff. And we did find a few prints in this area after finding the tree breaks. But uh, make sure you get your down to Medoc Mountain and check it out. It's just been amazing the amount of activity and stuff coming out of here. And once again, don't forget April 25th, we have our Paracon at Lakeland Culture Arts Center. That's pretty much right across the street from the museum in Littleton. Uh, we have some good names coming in. Uh, Brian Cano, Ronald Murphy, uh, Ken Gearhart. So we've got a bunch of others. There's going to be 10 people speaking. We're still getting a bunch of book authors that are reaching out to us to set up tables. So it should be a really good time. Uh, we're going to have the obviously food vendors there. Lakeland will have the bar open. They sell wine and beer. So it should be for just a lot of entertainment. If you need discounts on hotels, reach out to the museum. We've got some deals with some of the local hotels. Uh, we don't have anything as far as transportation at this point. We've seen if we can work something out on that too. Uh, easier said than done when you're out in the middle of nowhere. But like, there's some burnt out trees in the background there. As you move, you see this black thing move through. <laughs> it can be kind of deceiving. But anyway, I'll give you another shot of the trails before I say goodbye. Well, thanks for watching. Like I said, don't forget to share, subscribe, and uh, ring that little bell. Uh, we'll keep these videos coming out. We have a lot of stuff coming up in the future. Uh, we'll be announcing that real soon. Right now, we're just concentrating on the festival. And before we get the festival, we ha I have to actually work out a date for Bigfoot in the Park 5, which is we do actually in Medoc Mountain State Park. And uh, we've got some other things happening too. So, And don't forget to check out our billboards at I-95. We got those up. Uh, which is a big deal for a small little museum like us. Well, thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.